What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Snow Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Toys for Bob and Xbox. The uh, deal was made. It's now official. It's been rumored. It's been rumored for a while, really, ever since they kind of went independent. I think one of the first reports was, hey, they left, but they're still going to be, you know, working in collaboration with Xbox on their next game. And I don't know, like, for me, it's got to be Spyro, right? And I'll tell you, actually, I'll tell you why. Let's look at their Twitter post right now where they announced the partnership, right? We're excited to announce we'll be partnering with Xbox to publish our next game. We're still very early in development, so you might not hear from us for a bit, but know that we're working hard on an experience we're so inspired about. Can't wait to share more. Purple hearts. And then you even see the graphic, Toys for Bob, hearts, Xbox, even though you know, normally it's cross, and it's also on purple. Now look, the purple has got to be Spyro. The, the fact that they are, in a way, shoving purple down our throats, which trust me, I have, I have nothing against because I want Spyro, uh, I think that's the biggest indicator, right? You look at their actual logo right now, Toys for Bob, it's purple. You look at the graphic, it's purple. And then you also have the purple heart. Like, you know, if it wasn't Spyro, then why would you do so much purple, right? So that's a big one for me. Also, they say they're so inspired about the experience that they're making. Okay, I mean, like, it could only be a few things, right? I know there's people that want, like, a Banjo-Kazooie thing, and that's fine. And I guess that technically is possible with the Xbox background, but, like, I don't know. The color isn't there, number one. And number two, Toys for Bob's got the experience of Crash and Spyro, so why would they be so inspired about doing a, a Banjo game? So to me, it's got to be Spyro. And then also you have Xbox. You have specifically Xbox. Look, you leave it to do a partnership with them. You've done Crash in the past. I don't know, like, what else could you possibly... I'm going to keep banging the drum. Now, the the sad thing, and I even tweeted this uh, on Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, uh, this is going to be a while. Like, this is what's actually kind of sad about it, is right now it's kind of fast and furious, right? They're announcing the partnership. They're going purple, all this stuff. But in reality, I mean, they even say it, like, we're still very early in development, so you might not hear from us for a bit. Now, for a bit, that kind of makes me feel a little bit better, right? Because for a bit doesn't sound like three, four, Four years but the thing is unless they I don't even know what you'd have to do right embrace AI technology whatever it takes to get games out faster unless they do that you know the game's gonna take three four years I truly I mean I believe that in my core you might see Spyro or whatever it is if it's not Spyro you might see it in I mean a year if they want to give like a light tease or two years if they want to really start to show it but by the time the game is literally out in our hands where we are playing it on a console, I think it's three, four years away. It might not even be on this general. Okay, it's probably going to be like a cross-platform game at that point. You'll think of three, four years from now, 2027, 2028, it's on the next gen of Xbox, and it probably also would come out on PlayStation at that point, but, you know, we'd have to see. But regardless, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's that far out. Now, it's not like seven, eight years out, but it's still a while. So, you know, I appreciate the teases. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate the announcement of, like, the partnership and stuff, but we are going to have to wait quite a while um, until even, again, the next time we see the game. Hopefully, in this case... I'll take that really early reveal that's probably too early. I'll take that. If they reveal it's Spyro officially, say next year, a year from now, one year into development, and the game's still got two or three years left, normally, I mean, I'm sick of those type of games. I'm tired of, of getting announcements of that. But in this case, just because I want it to be Spyro, right, I'll take the announcement even if we have to wait then a couple more years after. I, I would accept that for this specific example. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel, bell icons turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.